Benadryl itch stopping gel is used to temporarily relieve itching and pain caused by minor burns, cuts, scrapes, sunburn, insect bites, minor skin irritations, or rashes from poison ivy, poison oak, or poison sumac. This medication belongs to a class of drugs known as antihistamines, which work by blocking the effects of a certain natural substance, histamine, that causes itching. In addition to diphenhydramine, this product may also contain other ingredients such as elantoin and zinc acetate, which can help relieve symptoms such as dry skin, weeping, or oozing. The package information may state that its use is not recommended in children younger than 2, 6, or 12 years unless directed by a doctor. If you are self-treating with this medication, it is important to read the package instructions carefully before you start using this product to be sure it is right for you. When using Benadryl itch stopping gel, make sure to only apply it to the skin as directed by your doctor or the instructions on the product package. If you have any questions, be sure to ask your doctor or pharmacist for clarification. Some products may need to be shaken well before use. Before applying the gel, be sure to clean the affected area with soap and water, then gently pat it dry. Apply the gel to the affected area as directed, usually no more than 3 to 4 times a day. Be sure to wash your hands immediately after use, unless the area being treated includes the hands. Do not use the gel on large areas of the body or use it more often than directed, as it will not improve your condition any faster, and it will increase your risk of side effects. Make sure to avoid getting the gel in your eyes, nose, ears, or mouth. If it does come into contact with these areas, wipe it off and rinse the area right away with water. If your condition worsens, if symptoms do not improve within 7 days or last after 7 days of treatment, or if symptoms clear up and return in a few days, stop using the product and tell your doctor. If you think you may have a serious medical problem, seek medical help immediately. If you experience mild stinging that lasts or gets worse, stop using this product and contact your doctor or pharmacist. Your doctor has determined that the benefits of using this medication outweigh the potential side effects. Most people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. Although it is unlikely, there is a small chance that this medication could be absorbed into your blood. Children using this drug for a prolonged period over large areas of the skin, especially if the skin is broken, may be at a higher risk, especially if they are also using other diphenhydramine products taken by mouth or applied to the skin. Stop using this product and contact your doctor immediately if you or your child experiences serious side effects such as enlarged pupils, flushing of the face, changes in mental-slash-mood, difficulty walking, or difficulty urinating. A severe allergic reaction to this drug is rare, but seek medical help immediately if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, including rash, itching slash swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice any other effects not listed here, contact your doctor or pharmacist. Before using Benadryl itch stopping gel, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies to diphenhydramine, other ingredients in the product, or dimenhydrinate. This product may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions, so it's essential to discuss this with your pharmacist. If you are self-treating chickenpox or measles, or if you have any upcoming surgery, it's crucial to inform your doctor or dentist about all the medications and products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. If you are pregnant, you should only use this medication if it is clearly needed. It's important to discuss the potential risks and benefits with your doctor before using it. If you are breastfeeding, it's important to consult your doctor before using this medication, as it may pass into breast milk. When using Benadryl itch stopping gel, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions. This means that it could change how your medications work or increase the risk for serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription slash non-prescription drugs and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Additionally, do not use this gel with any other diphenhydramine product applied to the skin or taken by mouth, as it may cause increased side effects. Always consult with a healthcare professional before using this product. If you accidentally swallow this medication, it can be harmful. If you apply too much of the gel on your skin, wash it off with plenty of soap and water. 
If someone has taken too much and is experiencing serious symptoms like passing out or having trouble breathing, it's important to call 911. Otherwise, you should call a poison control center right away. In the US, you can call 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of overdose may include changes in mental state, confusion, dry mouth, difficulty speaking, trembling hands or feet, and seizures. Make sure to keep all your medical and lab appointments. It's important to stay on schedule for your checkups and to monitor your progress while using Benadryl itch stopping gel. This will help ensure that you are getting the most benefit from the medication and that it is working effectively for you. If you forget to use the gel, use it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, then just wait and use it at the regular time. Do not use extra gel to make up for the missed dose. When it comes to using Benadryl itch stopping gel, it's important to store it at room temperature. Different brands may have different storage needs, so be sure to check the product package for specific instructions or ask your pharmacist. Some products may contain alcohol, so it's crucial to keep them away from heat or open flame as they can be flammable. And as with all medications, it's important to keep them out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to getting rid of expired or unused product, it's important not to flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless instructed to do so. You should consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for proper disposal methods. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.